Hello and welcome back to another John's Comics with Kids edited video. Today we're talking about the pull list. As usual, every Thursday I'm looking ahead next week at what is coming out next Wednesday and what am I picking up. If that sounds like something you want to learn about too, then stick around and watch this video. Whole list getting a little technologically advanced. I got new lights. I got a new microphone. Hopefully the sound is a little better than it was before, but hey, the pull list is still the same. We got DC, Marvel, Indies, all for you, but a super light week here on January 13th. I've only got four green light books and not even a lot of yellow light books. January after week one might be getting a little weak, but let's jump into some Marvel books. Of course, I'm getting Hickman related stuff. Let's start with Marauders issue 17. Probably my favorite book over there in the Hickman universe. Uh, I absolutely have been enjoying this. We look like we got a storm focused issue. Her and Callisto, I believe, fighting it out here on cover A. I'm I'm very enjoying this. I, I I'm looking into the the Kitty Pride as a pirate stuff. She got her revenge on Sebastian Shaw last time. What's this mean for our, our mutant characters? Uh, I'm excited to see what this is going to be going forward. So yeah, I'm all in. There's an alien variant, uh, but you know me. I'm a cover A guy. I'm not super interested in this. Uh, hey, we're just going to throw aliens onto some covers, even though they're not in any of the books, but let's just do it anyways. It's a beautiful cover, and if you're an alien fan, you're probably psyched on all of these because there's a ton of them. So there you go. There's another one of those. Uh, next up, I got Sword, issue two. Issue one was pretty good. I actually enjoyed it surprisingly. It's a little bit convoluted. I'm hoping that they just had to get some info out of the way and that they're streamlining now. So I'm, I'm hopeful issue two continues on is just as good. Uh, not I'm pumped on all these variants. They're all pretty ugly overall. Um, but thankfully the interior art worked for me. So I was into it. So yeah, I'm interested in issue two of Sword. Then I got a few... Yellow Light King and Black books. Let's start with uh, Planet of the Symbiotes. This is not written by Cates. This is a this is sort of like he's outsourced a little bit here. I, I don't know anything about this book much beyond that it's going to bring in some of those Scream and whatever character, those secondary symbiote characters. If that sounds interesting to you, then maybe you're in on this book. There's a ton of cool variants, as always, with these King and Black tie-ins. They go all out with the variants. Uh, so I, I don't think I'm going to be buying this, but I'll, I'll skim through the interior art and see if it's worth anything. I didn't recognize any of the talent on board of this, so yeah, it's a yellow light. And then after that, we have Thunderbolts, King and Black Thunderbolts tie-in. This intrigues me a little more for the plot. Uh, Kingpin has rallied some villains together to fight back against Null. Rhino... And I can't, gosh, I can't remember all the little villains, but you see some here on the cover teaming up with Kingpin to just launch an assault against the, the Null symbiotes. This sounds interesting to me. It could be kind of a fun story. So I'm definitely going to be grabbing or at least looking at this Thunderbolts issue one, King in Black, Matthew Rosenberg writing. I'm a fan. So that could be a good one to pick up. And then there's one last yellow light book over at Marvel this week. There's a Chris Claremont look back book. He is writing it and it focuses on Danny Moonstar traveling back in time through the like history of Claremont's run on at Marvel. Ah, that sounds right up my alley. So I definitely want to look at it, but I, beyond the name Claremont, I, this has very little to draw me in. So I'm kind of just curious about it. It is a yellow light for me. Uh, but hey, Claremont fans like me might be super pumped on this book. And that's it over at Marvel. Let's check out what's going on at DC. DC is in the middle of their future state event. So there's not as much uh, that I'm getting week to week. If you want to check out why or see what's up, you can watch my future state pull list video I just did last week. Give you some information on what what is the future state and what books you might be interested in getting. This week I have one on my pull list and that's Justice League, Future State Justice League has uh, Joe, the Far Sector Green Lantern. It's got Yara, the new Far Sector, or sorry, uh, Future State uh, Wonder Woman character. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little curious about what this could be. It's also got, a, this book has a 
Justice League Dark secondary story, all of that sort of adds up to my curiosity. I kind of want to check this out. Uh, I think this gets a green light for me across the board. Uh, I, I will give it one issue, but there's only two. So even if it's a like a, a mediocre first issue, I might just decide to go the full bore and get both issues for this run. Uh, so that's my only DC book. I don't even have any yellow lights there. So let's let's get over to Indies because I got one green light, one yellow light over in Indies. All right, so my green light is Origins issue number three. This is a Boom Studios book that I've been enjoying sort of looking at uh, a future where... Uh, robots have sort of taken over Earth. It's an interesting, it's an interesting premise. I like the art style. And issue two dropped some huge bombs and really like just blew my mind. So I'm kind of excited to see what they do again here in issue three. This cover is gorgeous, really, really beautiful. I don't know if they're going to do it with the. They have a pretty intense trade dress for Origins. It kind of takes over the top. I don't know, say like a, a quarter of the book. Uh, so I'm kind of curious if, if it's going to look cool with the trade dress on it, but I do think this is a beautiful cover. And yeah, Origins has been fun for these first two issues, and uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride. I think I'm curious to see if they can make this a long-going story, if it's just a mini-series story, because I haven't decided how far I want to travel with this event. There are a ton of post-apocalyptic indies these days, but Origins has kind of captured my interest, and issue two really did some wild things, so I'm kind of excited to see can they continue to make this a, a must-buy book for me week to week. So yeah, issue number three of Origins is definitely a green light. And that leaves one yellow light book left here to discuss for today. This is from the Ice Cream Man writer uh, M. Maxwell Prince, and I'm not reading Ice Cream Man, so I, I did not know that until I wrote it down. Um, but I know he is super hot right now. People are very interested in his stuff, and he's got a new book, a six-issue, I don't want to call it an anthology, but it's like a, a bunch of different stories all centered around creepy clowns, and it's called Ha Ha, number one. Uh, I don't like I don't like clowns. Uh, clowns are freaky and they they bug me. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna get this book, but the variants are really cool. Bunch of cool variants. The artists rotate each each month that they're making one of these. So you're gonna get a rotating stable of talented artists who only have to commit to one issue. So I think in that way you're gonna get some very original looking books. And then yeah, the subject matter is perfectly creepy. So if you're a fan of Mr. Prince and his uh, his creepy ice cream man kind of stories, this might just be the right thing for you at the right time. Uh, I'm gonna pass on this one, probably give this a red light, but I had to share it with you because it's an image number one from a huge name. So there you go, this is Ha Ha, issue number one. And that wraps it up for me. I've only got four green light books, so it's gonna be a lighter week. Maybe it allows me the chance to uh, snag a back issue that I wanna snag or just, hey, Get a trade paperback that I want to read. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the pull list. Remember, this is Tag Team Thursday. Hopefully, you came from Just a Recon and his comics, where he's sharing with you his new pickups from Wednesday. Then you're going to jump from here over to Old Wolf 65's channel. He is dropping his new video, bagging and boarding the books that he picked up this week, too. I will be back next Thursday, and I'll see you guys on another pull list. what happens with my new light when I wear my glasses. This is why John can't wear his glasses when he does this show anymore. Whoa. So psychedelic.